The Chain Rule, Level 3. Alright, in our previous videos, we learned that the derivative of a natural exponential function was equal to itself. But has it occurred to you what the derivative of exponential functions with a base other than e was equal to? Say for example the function f of x equals 2 to the power of x. What would be the derivative equal to? Well, this is where the chain rule, along with some mathematical manipulation, comes into play. Recall that if we start with x, apply f of x, and then apply the inverse of f of x, we arrive back at x. Likewise, if we start with x, apply f inverse of x, and then apply f of x, we arrive back at x. In essence, the composition of a function and its inverse undo each other, leaving you with the independent variable x. These two equations are called the cancellation equations. Okay, now if we have the natural exponential function f of x equals e to the x, its inverse is equal to ln of x. Using the cancellation equations, we have the following properties of logarithms. e to the power of ln of x is equal just to x, and ln of e to the x is also equal to x. So this means that if we have an exponential function with a base other than e, such as r of x equals a to the power of x, we could rewrite a to the power of x as e to the power of n of a, because that's the same thing as just a, raised to the power of x. And using the properties of exponents, we could rewrite the expression as e to the power of n of a times x. So if you want to take a derivative of a to the power of x, we are actually taking a derivative of e raised to the power of natural log of a times x. So taking a derivative of a to the power of x, rewriting the expression as e to the power of n of a times x, we see that this is a composition of functions. Specifically, the outer function is equal to e to the x, and the inner function is equal to n of a times x. Applying the chain rule, we have that the derivative of r of x is equal to e to the power of n of a times x times n of a. So using the calculation equations, we have that e to the power of n of a just becomes a raised to the power of x times n of a. So we add this derivative to our arsenal to find the derivative of any exponential function, including those with base e. The derivative of an exponential function is equal to the function itself times n of a. Alright, let's go over some examples. Find a derivative of r of x equals 2 to the power of x. This is an exponential function, so the derivative of r of x is going to be equal to the function itself, 2 to the power of x, times ln of the base. In this case, it's 2. Let's try this one. Find a derivative of r of x equals 10 raised to the power of 1 minus x squared. So here, this, we see that this is a composition of functions. So we need to apply the chain rule. Our outer function is equal to 10 to the power of x, and our inner function is equal to 1 minus x squared. The derivative of the outer function is equal to 10 raised to the power of x times n of 10, after applying the derivative of an exponential function. And the derivative of the inner function is equal to negative 2x by using the difference and power rules. And so that leads that the derivative of r of x is going to be equal to 10 raised to the power of 1 minus x squared times n of 10 times negative 2x. So the final derivative is equal to negative 2x times 10 raised to the power of 1 minus x squared times n of 10. All right, let's try the final example. Find a derivative of r of x equals 3 raised to the power of sine of x. Once again, this is a composition of functions with the outer function equal to 3 raised to the power of x and the inner function equal to sine of x. The derivative of f of x is just the derivative of an exponential function, and that's equal to 3 raised to the power of x times n of 3. The derivative of the inner function is just the derivative of sine of x, which is equal to cosine of x. Applying the chain rule, we have that the derivative of r of x is going to be equal to 3 raised to the power of sine of x times ln of x times cosine of x. We write an expression, we have that the final derivative is equal to 3 raised to the power of sine of x times cosine of x times ln of 3. Alright, in our next video we are going to apply all the derivative rules that we learned so far.